Yo, what's up, y'all? We back with another one. You know what I mean? We got the ingredients for this cheese steak that we whipping up. As you see, salt, pepper, cheese whiz, banana peppers if you want, jalapeno if you want. You know what I mean? Gotta have a little spice and herb. Gotta have a ketchup. You know what I'm saying? This right here is my sweat. You dig? <laughs> and don't forget, mayo. Come on, dog. And now, this is the most important. This is the reason I got this slow. This right here, this onion, I don't care if it's a red, yellow, sweet, tall, short, fat onion, whatever you want. But you know a cheesesteak is not a cheesesteak without onions on it. I don't care what side of the country you're from. That's that. And of course the bread, because that's what we get. It's bread. You dig? And I'm going to let my girl go and tell you how she make hers, because this is a challenge, obviously. All right, so first things first, the key to the OG Philly cheese steak, it's your fried onions, baby. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna slice and dice some sweet white onion. And then we'll get the little nasty parts off. And these are the most important things. The key ingredients are your, your onion, your meat, and your cheese. That's all you need. So I, I did it the OG style. I ain't gonna do too much, because you don't need to do too much. It's real simple. So we can put a little uh, oil in the pan, get that heated up. I have used a little too much oil, but that's okay. We're going to take some off because, you know, we don't need our cholesterol going that high. All right, so you got your meat. Season it with a little pepper and a little salt. We got it nice and hot. We're going to add some of our meat. You want to use shaved steak because that's really just the only way to do it. I mean, I don't like that thick, chunky, whatever other places you use. So I use shaved steak because that's what you're supposed to use a little salt and pepper and you want to make it as thin as possible that's the key a thin thinly sliced steak so I'm dicing and slicing chopping and mopping add in some onion as your meat is cooking a little salt and pepper give the onions a little pat out pat out pat out Ooh, that probably sounds a lot worse than I feel like it did just now <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're gonna keep that meat moving across the pan more slicing and dicing get all of it cooked brown take it around town mix the fried onions in there we ain't doing too much with the onions just a little sun 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 all right i think we got it i think we're good yes we've done it we're gonna let that rest let that chill a little taste test Mm-hmm. okay okay add a little more pepper you just you know Cook to taste. There's no set amount. I had a little onion powder. I got freaky there. Okay. I like what I'm doing here. I see you, baby. I see you, girl. All right. All right. Our meat is ready to go. We just a little taste test. All right, guys. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna make the OG Philly cheesesteak. That's why I got the pot. I'm in here whipping work. I'm heating up some cheese whiz. So you guys can get a visual. I like my cheese was like this. Very a fluid, one fluid motion. I like <laughs> it. I like it like that. All right. So we have our wonderfully soft sub. Oh, well, I said sub. Hoagie roll. Mm, no, that's because that's what it was called. No, 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 They have no Amoroso rolls here because, you know, they're only in Philly. Only in PA. Um, but anyway, <laughs> so first, I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on my actual roll with my spoon. I don't have a knife. And I'm just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, some people like a lot of cheese with, some people like a little bit of cheese with. Um, I personally think I'm somewhere in between. Anyway, we got that. Then I'll put some on the top. So. Don't believe me, just watch. Don't believe me, just watch. Okay, so I did it the OG way. I just put a little fried onions and the steak because everyone knows that a cheese steak is all about the steak. The steak and the cheese. That's why it's called a cheese steak. You know, peppers and all those things are very fancy and they taste good. But if you make a good cheese steak, you only need meat and cheese. And now, 
Don't pull my cheese thing out of your ass or nothing, because I don't use my own stuff. My cheese not doing what I wanted it to because you had me waiting all long and I had to keep repeating <laughs> it if we want to be if we want to be real. <laughs> Wait, we want to be real. Real, you want to be real. Waiting all long. You're just gonna pull out a Timberland on me next. Yeah, mind your business. Oh, I'm gonna put it on the bottom. How's it taste? It tastes like home. Mm. When I think so of home. A lot of tether determines this is a lie. Cause you know what you're missing? That is a skimpy cheese steak with no meat. It's supposed to be meat everywhere. It's supposed to be a messy. You're supposed to have meat on but, it and ketchup and but cheese. But I don't want that right now. Uh, you a hater though. You know, it tastes like home to me. All I did was. It don't look like home. You're not from home. That's all right. I go to your city and take over. It's like a poppy store cheese thing. I don't got a lot of meat on it because poppy's not going to give you all that. Uh huh. Poppy ain't going to give you all that. No, he's not going to give you all that. Well, ain't either. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a, a Roxborough cheese steak in the house. So, boom. Throw a little butter on there. You know what I mean? A little bit No, 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 no. No grease. But throw the butter on there. You know what I mean? For the flavor. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to mix that around. Make sure you don't burn the butter. Go ahead and throw your meat on there. You know what I mean? You get straight to the point around this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So you slap that on there. Boom. You know what I mean? Throw a little oil on top. You know what I mean? Just keep everything from being dry. You don't want no dry meat. That's number one. So after we let that sit for a couple minutes, you know what I mean, let that get right. You know what I'm saying? I had to go and chop my onions up, throw it in there. You know what I mean? Slice and dice on that there. You feel me? Slap that on there. You feel me? For flavor. You got to have onions. It's the cream of the crop. Go and slap the banana peppers on there. You know what I'm saying? It's going to just throw what you want in there. And then you figure out the rest later. What the Bible tell you? What the Bible say? Throw, go and throw it in there. And figure it out later. You know what I mean? That's First Corinthians. So I'm gonna chop the meat up. You know what I mean? You're gonna flip that, hit that, sip that. You know what I'm saying? You see that chop motion? My girl asked me. She thought I uh, she thought I worked as a cook. I said, Nah, girl, I cook work. You know what I mean? But anyway, go and do that. Keep it over your fire. And see, you gotta notice the the. The preciseness, the uh, the the dedication at work here. Make sure all your stuff is firmly chopped. You know what I mean. But but by, by the time I got to this point, I was realizing this is this is like one of the little tough meats. You know what I mean. You know I, mean? I tried everything. You know what I mean. So it's really kind of give or take. But everything happens for a reason, you know what I mean? Spill some meat beside, grab the fork on that ass. Yeah, you know, you just take your time. You cook the the key to cooking is cook with love. Put some heart into it. You know what I mean? People just be cooking just to cook. You don't cook just to eat. Not just to eat, you cook with the with the intentions of love, the atmosphere. It's like a plant, you know what I mean? A plant gonna die in a bad in a bad house. No matter how much you feed it. You keep cussing at it, it ain't gonna get nowhere. And that's what I'm trying to teach y'all right here. This matters. You see, I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking my time with it. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, eat, I'm individually making sure each individual piece of meat is separated. Some people don't care how your food is cooked. You got to care how your food is cooked. Because if you don't, who will? 
If you don't care, who will care? So that's all I'm saying. So by the time I get to this section, you know, it's time to go and hook them up with the old razzle dazzle. You know what I mean? <laughs> the whole razzle dazzle on that. Now watch what he do. Watch what he do now. Uh, a little bit of that. A little bit of this. You're going to whip that up. You know, it's real simple and plain, folks. You know, I make it look easy, but it's not that easy. It's years of training. Years of hard work. Years of dedication. Focus. You have to have hand-eye coordination. You have to care. Care about the food. Jalapeno. Appreciate that, sis. You know what I mean? Pass the pinos. Go and throw that afterwards. The reason you throw it after because you don't want them dry. You don't want them dry. You see how she trying to come in and, you know what I mean, cook her cheese over there right next to me so she can steal the shine. But you can't steal this shine. You can't steal this shine over here. Because we shine bright no matter what time of the day it is. No matter what time of night. You know what I mean? You can't see it, but I put I put the I put it on low. I put the fire on low. You know what I mean? Because the meat done. You really just add your forte to it. Now this is another action of persistence right here. Consistency and persistence. No assistance. Need it. So beat it. But you know. I can't give y'all all the sauce. You know what I mean? You get too much sauce, you get lost in the sauce. You don't want to get lost in the sauce. Like that cheese sauce right there. You whip it up enough. Some stuff might happen. Everybody can't have the sauce. But that's, you know, that's basically how you do it right there. I don't even gotta say no more. I'm gonna show you how, how hey, it tastes. Man. So, we successfully made our Philly cheese steak meat. Now, on to the butter and bread, literally, of the segment. So, this is gonna be mine. I'm gonna show y'all how it's done. Real cheese steak from the South. It's called the Southern cheese steak. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got ketchup. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta do ketchup for my ketchup loving. I'm sure you appreciate this. I'm just gonna. You gonna slather it on there? Let's put a little. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Just slightly layer it with a little ketchup. You know what I mean? Just to give a good little flavor. All right. Now stay right there. Let's stay right there. I'm gonna show y'all something. All right. We're gonna stay right here. We ain't gonna move. All right. You see so that? I see this. You see that? That's American cheese. That's it. Fine. Oh yeah. Jalapeno. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Banana peppers, onions, you know, you've seen it on the video. I ain't got to explain myself. This goes without saying. You shouldn't even have to say it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go and do that. Steaks because we don't need all that. Just like that, you got the southern cheese steak. The best thing you ever seen. Now, some people add mayo. I could have had mayo, but you know, keeping it classy around here. <laughs> so, you know, I'm gonna take a bite, you know? You wanna do it from the back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First bite feels. Mm. All right, now I'm not gonna help you up. Woo! That's <laughs> eat. That was good. That was good. It looks good. You did a good job, boo boo. You did a good job. All right. I didn't fall asleep. So, guys, that was our cheesesteak challenge. I wish I had a taste tester. That's what we should have done is had a taste tester to taste both of them. A blindfold. Uh huh. I'm going to We can switch. We can taste each other's. I'm going to bite yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't bite. Okay, you can do whatever you want. Do whatever I want. Did you put barbecue sauce on this? 
Alright. I want y'all no no no. I want y'all to know. <laughs> here we go. While the cameras weren't rolling, he put barbecue sauce on here and thinks that I'm gonna take a bite of a cheesesteak with barbecue sauce on it. This is the southern cheesesteak, not the Why didn't you get away? Now you just pissed me off. <laughs> ah. Why did you put barbecue sauce on there? <laughs> it tastes good. But I can admit, this tastes pretty good. This was good before you put barbecue sauce on it. No. Now it tastes like something else that's not a cheesesteak. <laughs> that's not a cheesesteak. What they like? Like regular steak, like that you bake in the oven and put barbecue sauce or something. Like that. <laughs> I'm serious. It's the same Why do you do that? It's the same everything. The barbecue sauce throws it off. But it's still good, but like I would never call this a cheese thing because it has barbecue sauce on it. It's not. So you've automatically disqualified yourself from No, it has cheese and steak. No. My sandwich. Mm. Barbecue sauce? Catch up. Who thinks that barbecue sauce belongs on a traditional Philly cheese steak? Not your own little freaky deaky rendition. This is a southern cheese steak, alright? So give it the program. Sorry, seriously. I did I did like his steak before he put barbecue sauce on it. I don't like her steak. And I Billy, can admit it. I didn't tell you I, I was with you all the way until you grabbed that sweet baby raise. And you watched me. You sat there and watched me. I know, and then I then I should have thought about that when I said we should taste this. Okay. I give her an eight out of ten. I don't know. It's pretty good. Oh that's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the cheese. Mine's a little dry and a lot. Oh, babe, yours actually is really good. I would also give yours an 8 out of 10. Yum. But with the barbecue sauce, I'm going to have to lower it two notches. Two? Not just one? A six. Babe, because that doesn't go on there. Like that, it just don't feel like home to me. Like I've had cheesesteaks with peppers, and, like peppers, onions, mm -hmm. and all that jazz on it. And I've had the OG cheese steaks, which is with fried onion, salt, pepper, ketchup. But I've never seen or heard. That's not even. If you tried to order barbecue sauce and cheese steak in Philly, they would be like, what? I'm well, not doing that's that why you can't move me up there. Because I'm going to be suing their ass. Okay. Give me what I want. Thank you guys for watching our video. As always, it's our, our pleasure to bring this to you i love eating so anytime you guys want to see a food video you let me know what you want to see anyway like comment subscribe just uh show us some love show us some hate whatever you want to show us i like it if you like it i love it follow i think i think it should be right here follow this and we go